Hey guys, I am back with a haul video for you today. It's my first one on this channel and it features MAC and Urban Decay products. I bought these from an online website but I've had them completely checked out by Mac Store and they're completely legitimate and they're an amazing, amazing website. It's cheapsmiles.com. All this was bought, nothing was sponsored. Before you go, just give them the link. No, I bought them myself. And they're basically, they offer um, them at a little bit less of a price. Not really much discounted, but still you're saving a little bit of coins, which is good obviously, because then you may be able to get a few more products, which is what happened to me in my case. At the moment, they are running a 15% discount, which I think is running for a couple of weeks or you know just basically check out this website and see they are selling out super super fast so you want to check it out now i have got a whole video more haul videos coming but they're going to be in two parts they'll be in the future so i'm just going to show you these high-end ones now basically what they do is they send it in a big four boxes this size no five sorry and they had basically two products in they had obviously a product wrapped in this wrapping paper and then a product on the top and wrapped again so they were severely packaged which was really good and as you can see there's the products they're quite it's quite small actually it's quite sturdy as well I have to literally put force to bend them and what I bought was two blushes two lips super, super glass lip glass super glass okay um glosses and a lipstick from mac then I bought two loose eyeshadows and two powder, normal, obviously, eyeshadows, single eyeshadows from Urban Decay. All the swatches are on my blog, so I'm not going to show you the swatches of these, but definitely check out the blog because it's all on there. And also, um, basically, the link, the code that you need as well. The code will be in the description bar below, but obviously, check out the blog to see the colours and everything else. Now, I'm just going to show you, easily get it. Some of these I won't be able to get into. I bought two blushes. I bought Dolly Mix and Breath of Plum. The colours on the screen are not 110%. I've got powder on this. I'm not quite sure how. Then again, I've got kids, so that might be how. Right, I'll show you this one. Some of these I can't get into, so I apologise if you see me fiddling. This is Breath of Plum. And I'm wearing this at the moment. It's very, very docile, though. I've not like stacked it up at all which is a really really pretty pinky purple well I think it's peach purple personally but obviously what it looks like there peach purple but on this it's a little bit darker and it's obviously a pinky purple really really pretty but again very very light with these because if you don't it can come on quite heavy I basically put on a very very low coat of it or small coat of it and you can already see the colour. Next is Dolly Mix which I fell in love with which is this one here. Very very pink. Actually not as pink as I thought it would be and it's got like little glittery sparkles in it which are not oh there we go you can see it's shimmery obviously. So yeah that is the blush other blush I got in Dolly Mix and my camera is absolutely crap at focusing, so I apologise. Now, as I said, swatches are on the blog for that. Uh, go back in, stop being stupid. Now, the lipstick I am wearing at the moment, and I got sequin, which is this one here. <laughs> right, so there we go, sequin. And I really like these lipsticks I really diddy actually they feel really really small in my hands maybe I've just got giant hands I don't know maybe and it's basically this color here now as I've said with my lips um, basically colors don't look as they look on the lipstick on my lips um, I'm just pretty much abnormal in that sense even the reddest lipstick does not look red on me it's it drives me insane so yeah that is the lipstick which is a really really pretty pinky red and it's got glittery sparkles in it they don't show up I've got a shimmer on at the moment as well that's why they shine and they had loads of shades of lipsticks actually and I wanted this one um, and another frost lipstick but sadly literally as soon as I ordered this one and paid for it and went back to get the others they'd all gone 
literally the very next day all of the lipsticks had gone and there was that and a nude and I've got a few nudes already so I didn't really want to get another nude lipstick because I just felt I wouldn't use it and it it's just not worth me getting it um just have it lying around for ages if I'm not really going to use it I want products obviously that I'm going to like and I'm going to use now I got two super glasses I got fab frenzy and super flash which are these two here and I was a bit skeptical with the fab frenzy one and I'll show you why I'm still skeptical about it um, because the shade is kind of out there but I do ow, I do like dark colours as well but it's a little bit darker than I thought but when I obviously saw swatches online I knew that the swatches and the product itself aren't 100% identical to colour and obviously it will change with how much product you apply so this is super glass and i've got this on my lips as well i'm i love this product pretty much using quite a bit of this and yeah in super flash one and i wasn't actually going to get this one but my partner knows me better than i know myself and he ordered it without me even knowing it and the thing i've noticed with that though is the lip fixation by jane and dales the coral colour I'll have to put that in the bar when I find out which one that is basically it is identical this is identical to that shade but it's the highlight colour not the actual coral colour so I'm really really pleased with that because I tend to be using the highlighter from the Jane Dales product as a lip gloss and I really shouldn't be using it considering it's meant to give moisture to the colour but it's absolutely gorgeous colour next is Fab Frenzy and as you can see guys very um out there and i will show you this one so yeah it's really out there as far as colors go but when you watch the swatch ones on my blog you will see that the colors are not like that so that's quite nice as well you know you're not going to be literally looking at it going oh that's that's way too dark what are you doing sam sort of thing so next is the urban decay products and I got Flipside and Jones, which are these two here. And these are actually easy to get into, she says. So I'm really happy with this. These are actually at the moment between £4 and £6 from this website. And they've got a lot of eyeshadows, but I just kind of fell in love with these two more so, which are these two here. So really, really pretty colours and again on the blog with the swatches and I think these ones were for no five five sixty five seventy so again you're saving money on them so I picked up those and then also I picked up two loose powders I'm actually really really excited about these which is quite pathetic and really sad in my case because I didn't know it came with a brush and you'll see I got as aspiliaxia maybe i probably pronounced that so wrong and i also got shag which makes me laugh because in the uk that means something totally different to maybe those in the us i'm not quite sure so this is shag which is um really really pretty goldy color my voice is going yay and it comes in a little brush and again very very pretty the thing is with this which hopefully you guys can see is it's like the products all around the edges on this which I have to keep tapping it which is a bit disappointed with that but I was so excited when I saw that it came with a little applicator brush because um, with the loose it always like falls off and I'm always worried oh great I'm gonna fall out and then I have to mess around so nine times out of ten I'll do my makeup when I'm going out and net my eyes and then I'll do the foundation but these do not do fallout because it comes with a little brush and it goes on really really smooth and lasts ages which is really good next I picked up the pinky one and again that is the color so it comes out really really bright and I'm absolutely in love with these products I will be getting quite a few more of these if that's right obviously with the colors but I tend to be going for bright colors because I've got um, the Urban Decay palette as well which I'll show you 
I thought I might as well add this into this video rather than the other one. And I got this about three, no, two months ago, I'd say, maybe. And I picked up the Naked palette, the original one, because I've got quite a lot of the shades already in my other one I got like year, year, two years ago. And they are all the shades. And today I'm wearing Toasted, yeah, Toasted and Hustle. And then Virgin and, da, 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 where's my finger? Half Baked. No, Sidecar. See, I'm absolutely crap at knowing what colours are what. So yeah, that is the other one I bought. That was actually the more expensive one. That was £36 for that one. The review is already on, so I'm not going to go into detail about that. As for all the MAC and all the Urban Decay, for the whole lot of that, it cost me £56, which I'm sure you'll agree is a really, really big saving compared to obviously buying from MAC directly directly and um yeah and also buying it from other websites you know even though you'll see them going oh you know four pound five pound they are not legit you know that without a doubt and i was really pleased to find this because it's nice to be able to save a bit of money so i could get another lip gloss you know something like that because i was given a budget of some like 70 pounds and i didn't want to spend that much all in one go but i love these products and i just couldn't leave them because they were selling out so so fast and what I found was I got literally about £15 discounted with all the savings from each individual product. Then I did the 15% discount that you get with using MAC 15 and that gave me a further £7 off. So I ended up, I think at the end of it, saving quite a bit, which is really, really good. So yeah, check out this website. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the products I've got. Um, do you want to see looks with those or do you want to see more looks using the Naked palette? Obviously with what I'm wearing now, that's not on here yet. Um, I did do a pink romantic look, so check out that video as well. That's in the description bar below. And let me know what you all think. So stay safe and stay beautiful.